Introduction The Venerable Ajahn Mahabua Nyarna Sambano accepted an invitation to go to England in June 1974 together with two other bhikkhus, Venerable Banya Warto and Venerable Apijedo, originally from the UK and Canada, respectively. All three had the good fortune to be able to stay at the Tamma Badipa Ihara in Haverstock Hill, which was run by the English Sangha Trust. It was there that Adan Mahabua gave the talks recorded in this book, the only exception being the discussion on 13th June in the morning at Cambridge, when the bhikkhus went to receive food at Mr. Benedict Wint's house. The talks given by Adan Mahabua were tape-recorded, but the questions and answers were mostly taken down in shorthand by M. R. Samsri Kasamsri. It is mainly due to her efforts, not only in taking down the questions and answers, but also in subsequently transcribing all the talks and her shorthand notes and typing out the manuscript, that the Thai book was produced from which this translation was made. Translation from Thai into English does not normally present any special problems, but the origin of this book was the spoken word. In addition, the subject matter is Tamma, which involves many concepts and technical terms for which English has a rather poor vocabulary and often a lack of the necessary fundamental concepts. The teachings of Buddhism may in fact be compared to a technical subject such as chemistry or electronics, in that many technical terms and phrases are necessary. Special concepts and ways of thinking are needed in order to understand and appreciate the reasoning and truth of Buddhism. When it comes to a question of whether to translate a technical word, nearly always from the Bali language into English, the reasoning that has been used is as follows. If a word in Bali has a well-known and accurate equivalent in English, then the English word is used, e.g. sati, mindfulness, banya, wisdom. But if there is no well-known or accurate equivalent, or if the use of an English word leads to more confusion or misunderstanding than the original Bali word, then the Bali word is used, e.g. samati, tana. I must apologize to those people who are not familiar with Pali terms, and so find it difficult to read a book like this which has many Pali terms, but I feel sure that it is far better for readers to not understand rather than to misunderstand. In any case, following on this introduction is a short list of those Pali words that occur frequently in this book, together with a brief assessment of their meaning, so that the reader who is not familiar with those words can have a ready reference. I should like to thank all those who have helped to produce this book, including M. A. Samsri Kasemsri for her work on the original book in Thai, Mr. Michael Shemeklis for his help in editing the translation of the first thirty or so pages, Bikko Abizato for helping to correct many translation mistakes, and to Bikko Zetto Paso for typing out the manuscript. Bikko Banyawato, Watpa Bantad, Udon Thani, Thailand. Brief list of Bali terms that are usually left untranslated in the text. 1. Jitta. The heart, in the emotional sense, not the physical heart. The one who knows, but often knows wrongly. The nearest English equivalent is the word mind, except that mind is usually understood as being the thinking, reasoning apparatus located in the head, which is too narrow a meaning for the word jitta. 2. Tamma. 1. The ultimate meaning is, that basis which is behind all phenomena and is thus the truth. It is unchanging and thus not knowable by that which is impermanent. 2. The Buddha Tamma, meaning those practices and ways of behavior that conform to Tamma and lead one towards Tamma. 3. Dukkha. Discontent, dissatisfaction, suffering, pain, anguish. Dukkha is a very broad and general term covering all those things that are unpleasant, irritating, and disturbing. 4. Gilesas. Those defiling states arising from greed, hatred, and delusion, which constantly tend to lead us against Tamma. 5. Nibbana. The state of the jitta in which all the gilesas and dukkha have been eradicated. 6. Samati. Absorption of the mind when concentrating one-pointedly on an object. It has many levels, and few people know more than the initial stages of it. 
7. Vimutti Freedom or liberation in the sense of freedom from the gilesas, dukkha, and attachment to the mundane relative world of samudhi.